so I haven't posted much lately um, on YouTube um, just because the weather's not been great so I haven't been able to like get out and really film much and my health hasn't been great so I've been in the house a lot more but um, I went out today and I didn't film it unfortunately but I went to a pet shop and obviously it's fine you're allowed your animals in there I you know it doesn't bother me what bothers me is when you get harassed by other dog owners in the store when you've got your assistant's dog in there like and their dogs barking their head off and being really aggressive towards my dog and my dog has to stay 100% focused all of the time pretty much in order to alert me to a medical episode so if your dog's there trying to attack my dog just because you think my dog's cute and you know you're trying to get a better look and he yes he's got a cute vest on well if you looked at the actual vest it says assistance dog on it and it says don't distract so <laughs> It gets me every time. It makes me really, really mad. I'm sorry if this is turning into a bit of a rant, but it makes me really mad because not only is there a lockdown on at the moment and coronavirus, which she was completely ignoring the rules for and I was trying to tell her to stay back and she just goes, I only want to look at your dog and I'm like, he's an assistance dog. Like, he he's a dog, he's not a unicorn. You know, yeah, he's a fantastic dog, but, you know, it, it's just, he's just a dog. Like, can you just be an adult for like half a second? And I was starting to get anxiety and it was really hot in this pet shop as well, which doesn't help with my medical condition either. And she eventually went to the register and um, left. And then Zorro, my assistant's dog... I was walking halfway down the aisles and he started to alert to me. And I, at first I just thought it's probably just my anxiety has just got up a little bit. I'll be fine when I get out of the shop. And he got to a point where, because he has to be trained to be very persistent with his alerts. So if I try to ignore those alerts and it's something other than just anxiety, he has to be persistent with them. So he literally decided he was going to plonk himself in front of me. And every time I went to go and walk past him, he would jump up at me. And he doesn't take, like, he doesn't lose eye contact with me the whole time if something more is going to come of it. So I sort of thought, great, you know, <laughs> today of all days with everything going on. So luckily... The owner of the pet shop was really, really understanding. I'd been in there quite a few times before. And I said to them, because I was starting to feel the effects of what Zorro was alerting me to, because I was starting to feel a bit dizzy. And they, um, I asked the owner, is there anywhere where I could just go and lie down on the floor? Because I really need to. And they very kindly let me use like their little office room at the side. And I lay down. And Zorro does um, pressure therapy to like slow my heart rate down, slow my breathing down, and just generally calm me down. Basically, it wasn't. It was to do with the anxiety, but it's also to do with the post concussion syndrome I have because of the heat that was in the pet shop. Because they've got like exotic animals in there, which have like obviously heated bulbs and they've got quite a lot of them so the room like the pet shop itself is always really hot and um anyway I was lying down on the floor and Zorro immediately did his job did pressure therapy on my chest and he was really good like I was really surprised because it you know I didn't have any treats on me at the time that was the whole point of why I went into the the um pet shop was to get treats and uh it was like the first time he's majorly done like a proper full-on alert like that and full-on um body chest pressure and he stayed like that for 20 minutes in this pet shop 
and didn't move a muscle. There were people um, by the doors outside the other side, outside the door, and that had got like dogs and stuff like that. And those dogs, I think, could tell that Zorro was in there with me, and they were sniffing at the door and barking and making noise. And Zorro did, didn't move, didn't bat an eyelid, stayed with me the whole time until I sort of came out of it and came around a bit more. And I could sit up, and then when I sat up, he does, like, pressure therapy across my legs as well to kind of keep me calm and also, again, to help the heart rate and the breathing. And, again, he didn't bat an eyelid at these dogs that were outside the door. And the owner of the shop, you know, very kindly every now and then would check in, you know, obviously just to make sure I was okay. And, like, Zara just didn't even turn his head towards the door at them so I was really impressed with that it kind of put my mind at ease now a little bit because he's never had to fully do it as an emergency he's always it's always been sort of half you know half emergencies uh, or like anxiety and things so he's always helped with that um, I've never had to get to the point really where I've had to lie down fully I've always ended up just having to sit down and have Zoro in my lap so it's really nice to know that if I did end up passing out on the floor that he would you know do his job and automatically go on my chest and stay there because I didn't have to give him any corrections anything like that I didn't have to get him to focus he just did it and that really shows that all that training that we've been doing with that type of exercise um is really paying off and things which I'm I'm really happy about. Aren't we? Are we really happy it's paying off? <laughs> yeah, he's had a good day. He got rewarded when he got back as well with um he's had sausages, so <laughs> he's had his favourite. Um but yeah I just thought I'd sort of let you guys know what's been going on with me really. He's still been going out on his walks and stuff, it's just with the weather not being great and my health not being great at the moment, I've not been able to sort of get out too much and train. And also with the lockdown, it doesn't help with training. It makes it a lot harder. So, uh, yeah. But, yeah, I um, I might add a few little videos onto this of what we've been getting up to. So stay tuned for more of uh, Jess and Zorro, I suppose. But make sure that you like the video subscribe because it really helps my page okay bye Well, I need to take my medicine. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I will. I will. Okay, good boy. I will. So, come on. Come on. Good boy. <laughs> You're right. Come on. Good boy. Oh, you dropped it. So, here. Leave. Good boy. Boy, wait. Wait. Boy. Sir, sir. Okay.
you see me while you're shopping please leave me alone and do not teach your child to look at me. Don't ask to pet me or stare at me. If I do come up to you without my person please follow me because something life threatening is happening to my mom. Service dogs are not pets and should not be treated as so. Let's go. Good boy. Come on. <laughs> go, sir. Let's go. Good boy. Yeah, you little friend. <laughs> A dog is the only thing on earth that loves you more than he loves himself. He is truly man's best friend. If you have a dog, you are truly blessed. Here, wait. So, down. Good boy. Down. Here. Let's go. Good boy. Wait. Good boy. Is it? Let's go. Go. Is it? Good boy. 